The Feynman Belt Tunnel, a mega project. Denmark and Germany have been close political and economic partners for decades now, and soon they'll be yet another step closer to each other. In 2029, the longest immersed tunnel in the world will open up to cut travel times between the two metropolitan cities of Copenhagen and Hamburg nearly in half. The 18.2 km long tunnel would channel four car lanes and two train tracks across the Feynman Belt and the link will accelerate the crossing time from the Danish island of Lowland to the German island of Feynman by around 500%. Due to subpar soil conditions in the belt, conventional tunnel boring was not an option and the new engineering solution had to take its place. The solution settled upon is the construction of a so-called immersed tunnel, meaning that the tunnel elements will be built ashore in the form of 89 concrete elements, which will be floated out, placed and then connected underwater. The almost unfathomable size of this mega project brings with it some astonishing numbers. Chapter 1. The Feynman Belt Tunnel in Numbers this engineering marvel has started construction in the summer of 2020 and the large group of international contractors, engineers, consultants and industry leaders are working day and night to complete the project within the set time frame of nine years. During these nine years, a series of enormous work steps will be undertaken, starting off with the construction of the tunnel trench in which the final tunnel elements will be placed. During this first step of the operations, over 15 million cubic meters of material will be dug up, equivalent to the volume of 13 Wembley stadiums, 14 Empire State buildings, 6 Hoover dams, or 16,400 international space stations. In a second step, all of this material has to go somewhere. With the use of colossal dredging vessels, barges, tucks, and hopper pipelines, these 15 million cubic meters of soil will be brought to the Danish and German shore, where multiple square kilometers of new recreational areas and nature reserves will be created. A total of 2.85 million square meters of reclaimed land will be created on the Danish side alone, adding around 0.23% to Lowland's total land area. With the tunnel trench done, it is finally time to get to the actual tunnel elements. As previously mentioned, the tunnel will consist of 89 elements of which 79 are so-called standard elements and 10 are special ones, which give additional space for extra installations underneath the tunnel. Every single one of these 97 standard elements will have a length of 217 meters and weigh a staggering 73,000 tons. Altogether, these 79 elements will weigh 5.7 million tons, which is comparable to the weight of more than six Golden Gate bridges, 13 Burj Khalifa towers, or 9,100 Christ the Redeemer statues. The finished tunnel will play in the leagues of the heaviest man-made objects ever built, ranking in between the Three Gorges Dam, the largest dam in the world, and the Great Pyramid of Giza. Chapter 2. The Works With the kickoff of the operations in the Feynman Belt in June 2020, the project is in full swing, and a lot has happened on the shores of Lowland since then. The Dutch dredging contractors Boscalis and Van Oort have been awarded with the excavation of the tunnel trench and the subsequent reclamation of the new areas on Lowland and Feyman. Both companies are veterans in the offshore dredging industry, having garnered experience on countless international projects across the world. A bit over a year into the project, both companies together have mobilized a handful of dredging vessels, with more to come as the project progresses. Each of these vessels are one of the largest of its kind, and together with over 30 support ships and barges, they are moving tens of thousands of cubic meters of material every single day. Large rock buns have already been constructed to contain the dredged material in the designated reclamation areas, and the future portal area, where the tunnel will submerge into the Feynman belt, is almost prepared for the next construction step. A new berth and terminal area in front of the future production facility for the tunnel elements is starting to get shape and a new beach has been constructed by the contractors where the local community of Lowland was able to enjoy their summer and get a glimpse on the construction site. One of the most incredible sights, however, are the big backhoe dredges in action. With a single bucket scoop, 
The biggest machines move 37 cubic meters of soil out of the ground, more than the volume of a standard 20-foot shipping container. With a power output of 35 new Volkswagen Golf cars, these buckets can lift 67 tons of dredged material in record speed. Since July 2021, the fleet is busy excavating the tunnel trench and they make for some beautiful industrial pictures. Chapter 3. The future of the Feynman Belt. Even though the construction looks very advanced already, there is still a long way ahead for all parties involved. Eight years into the future, when the tunnel will be completed, however, the whole region of the Feynman Belt will be reshaped. The main purpose of the tunnel is to streamline the connection between Denmark and Germany, which will subsequently also bring entire Central Europe closer to the Scandinavian peninsula. Travel times from anywhere in Germany, the Netherlands, France or Belgium to places like Copenhagen, Gothenburg, Stockholm or Oslo will be slashed and a high-speed train connection through the Feynman Belt will allow travel to be as efficient as never before. The tunnel will reduce crossing times from 50 minutes with a ferry to just 10 minutes by car or 7 minutes by high-speed electrical train and the environmental benefits will be enormous. The upgraded train tracks will take hundreds of thousands of trucks off the road and allow for extremely efficient rail transportation. Additionally, the replacement of the existing ferry service will prevent 160,000 tons of CO2 annually from being emitted, according to the final report of a third-party study on the CO2 emissions from a fixed Feynman Belt connection. The full study and all different scenarios under which the situation has been assessed can be found in the description below. Another concern which often arises in the context of the Feynman Belt project is the environmental impact on the ecosystem around the new tunnel. A total of 150 biologists, engineers and geologists, however, have studied the impacts of the construction site and the presence of the future tunnel, and no issues were found as long as noise, vibration and sediment spill pollution boundaries are obeyed, which is one of the highest priorities of all parties involved in the project. After the placement of the tunnel elements, the seafloor will be leveled again, meaning that the impact on the habitat of marine mammals and fish will be negligible, and breeding and traveling birds will actually have more reserved space on the shores of lowland compared to before the start of the construction. In conclusion, the Feynman Belt Tunnel Project is the largest civil engineering project in Europe at the moment, and once finished, it will bring all parts of Europe just a little closer together. The impacts on the environment, on travel times, and on Feynman and Lowland as a destination for tourists and the local fauna will be enormous, and the tunnel will be a true marvel of modern engineering. If you want to catch a glimpse on the process of the construction site yourself, you can either visit the Feynman Belt observation deck right next to the construction site or follow the live stream from site, which I've linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.